You know, I wanted to start with you first. You're such an icon in competition series and in life, and fans have been itching for you to make your return to television. What was it about the traders that interested you most about being a part of the series? And so often when you're on these shows, you're identified as an immediate threat, and rightfully so. As you head into this show, what was your strategy to get to the end? So my strategy going in was to identify the traders and work with them. So I could last a long time and keep my secret. And then when it was ready or, well, you know, I'm not going to spill anything, but, um, you know, take that information and work with them as closely as I could to try and get recruited or uh, to try and make, you know, if I don't get recruited, get my fellow faithfuls to get the right traders out. Fair answer. You know, Dan, you're known for being this masterful strategist and staging your own funeral will go down as one of the greatest moments in television history. Without giving any spoilers, will we get another moment from you like that this season? And as somebody with such a strategic mindset, what was your gameplay if you were picked as a trader and if you were not? Yeah, so I was a thousand percent all in on being a trader. I'm like, if they brought me all the way to Scotland out of retirement from a decade to not make me a trader, I couldn't bank on it. Like I still felt like even during the interview with Alan, I'm like, I have to pitch myself for them to pick me. Cause I didn't know. Um, but in terms of, is there going to be a funeral moment? All I can say is that like, I brought the same energy, same strategy, same playbook to this game. And um, I just hope that uh, all the reality TV fans and, and fans of all these shows that have been waiting to see me play again. I, I just hope they they enjoy the ride. You did, you did it justice. I've seen the first three episodes. And, you know, MJ, this is such a departure from your world, and you really do get to show up your strategic chops as well. What was the most surprising part about this experience for you? You know, I'm actually really impressed by just hearing Janelle and Dan talk about strategy because there was absolutely no experience for me to base it on. So I just had to um use my own skills which is like maybe being a um, a salesman from being a real estate agent and connecting with people and that's it like that's that's my thing and i am like i what i know about myself is that i love connecting with people so that aspect of it is like how are you going to be perceived and are you going to be liked are you going to be disliked like a group of strangers so it was it was going to be a big you know challenging new thing yeah. it's one of your greatest assets and this is a question for the entire group but this season has such a star-studded cast who is somebody from your respective franchises that would do well on traders three and why i want to put this out there right now uh, the producers need to hire Brittany Haynes. She is com she's a comedian. <laughs> she's amazing television. She's just great to watch. She gives the best confessional. So Brittany, Brittany Haynes definitely needs to be on Traders 3. She would be my number one vote. A matter of fact, we were texting the other day. Yes. She's she just came on the podcast. She's like, hey, look, if you know anyone, I'm like, Brittany, don't worry. I'm, I'm already on it. She yeah. makes it was so good. She just came. It's just so good to see her on television. She's one yeah. of those rare people where the camera's on and she is who she is, but she lights up the room. And um, the other thing about Brittany is she's so strategic and I think often gets underestimated because uh, she's never won a show, but she's always in the end game. And I think she would be an amazing. I also think someone like Derek Lavasser, I think he would be an incredible faithful. I think if you saw him mm. in the game, you'd love to see how his real life sleuthing um, kind of works to find traders in the game. I think that'd be fun to watch.